So then, let's address the number one complaint about the Sonos Roam. Hi guys, it's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds here, home audio visual retailer based in the UK. And today we're gonna to be covering the number one complaint about the Sonos Roam portable speaker. Now the Roam has been out for a fair few months now, so we've had a good amount of time to gather a significant amount of feedback from our customers and from you guys in our YouTube community. While the vast majority are really happy with their Roam and it has been a successful new product for Sonos, there is one gripe that we've seen come up a couple of times that we just want to address. Now, whether you're watching because you've got a Roam and you're having issues or because you're considering the Roam and you're doing some in-depth research, I hope this video um, helps clear things up for you. If you are considering the Roam, we do have a full in-depth review on our channel, which I'd highly recommend checking out. We've put it through its paces. Also, while you're here, it would be great if you consider subscribing. I know 95% of you guys are watching and aren't subscribed. We see the stats. So if you are a fan of all things tech and entertainment like us, we would love for you to join our community for more reviews, comparisons, and the latest news in the AV industry, as well as sort of honest videos like this one. Okay, that's enough about us, let's get into the video. So the number one complaint that we've heard about the Sonos Roam is that the Roam will automatically wake up when in sleep mode when you open the Sonos app, and occasionally for other reasons too, which is leading to an unexpected battery drain. Now, if we take it back a bit, Sonos is a home sound system, so it's designed to be seamless and simple for everyone to use. And the Sonos Roam is their latest portable speaker offering both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth control. So that means that this is not just a portable speaker, but it can become part of your Sonos home ecosystem. In fact, that is one of its key selling points. However, as a result of that integration, the Roam has certain functionalities which people are perhaps not expecting. So when you're at home and the Roam is connected via Wi-Fi, it will automatically go into sleep mode when left idle after a few minutes. Now, sleep mode Sonos claim reduces the battery usage. It also disables the top panel controls and it can help the Roam's battery last up to 10 days. However, the Roam will wake itself back up from sleep mode under certain circumstances, for example, when you open the Sonos app or when it checks for updates, things like that. And this will have an impact on the battery. Now, because of this, some users are unexpectedly coming back to their Roam after a period of time and finding that the battery has decreased more than they would have expected in sleep mode. Now, the reason the Roam wakes up like this is a specific design functionality that Sonos have added, which comes back to the Roam fitting in with your home ecosystem. Now, this functionality ensures that there's no delay between you opening up your Sonos app and being able to send music to the Roam, whether it's just to that speaker or to a group of speakers, which includes the Roam. Now, when it wakes back up, it's still in low power mode until you start to use it. For example, play music on it. So if you don't choose to send music to the Roam, it will put itself back to sleep again. If Sonos didn't have this functionality, when the Roam goes into sleep mode, you would then have to walk over to the Roam and wake it back up whenever you want to use it, which is not in Sonos's eyes such a seamless experience. So I hope that clears up what the Roam is doing when in sleep mode, why it wakes up, and therefore why the battery drain um, might be quicker than you would expect. So what are your solutions from here then? So if you're not happy with the Roam doing this, then you will need to hard power it off. So to do this, you need to hold down the power button on the back for around seven seconds, and then you need to hear this noise. The light will then go off and it will say that the speaker is offline in the app and then you won't be able to group to it and it won't wake back up when you open the app and things like that. Now this is the best way to retain battery life on the Roam. Um, this button on the back here can be a bit tricky to navigate as it is used for multiple controls including Bluetooth mode. Um, so a short press will put it into sleep mode and then you'll hear this noise. So just know that this is not the hard power off that I'm talking about here. So turning it fully off will preserve the battery life, but does mean you'll obviously have to walk over to the speaker and then turn it back on when you want to use it. The battery may also slightly go down as the powering down and backup process does use a small amount of power, just like any other devices. Now, an alternative to this and what I do at home with my Roam is to leave it on and let it go into sleep mode, but keep it on charge. Now, this means that it's always readily available in the app. I can connect to it whenever I want, but it won't lose battery over time when not in use. Now, you can choose to either charge it via the USB-C charging cable provided or with a compatible Qi charger. 
And one thing which does need highlighting here is that you can't just use any plug to charge the Roam. For example, the standard Apple iPhone plug is not powerful enough. It needs to be a five volt, two amp or 10 watt charger to ensure the Roam charges properly. Now, once charged to 100%, you can leave the Roam on charge and it will change to trickle charging, which preserves the speaker's battery. Now, Sonos have said that this won't affect the battery life in the long term, so don't worry about any long term issues by leaving it on charge. This essentially enables you to keep the Roam docked in one spot in your home as part of your ecosystem and make sure it'll be nice and charged up when you want to take it out, with, out and about with you or into the bathroom for your shower performances. Now, I don't do that. Of course, the final option would be just to leave the Roam off charge and then let it go into sleep mode, wake it up when activated, and just be aware though that the battery might need charging up before you go out on a trip, for example. So if you're gonna be using the Roam often, then you'll just be in the habit of charging it up uh, every now and then, so you probably won't notice it too much. One thing I would advise is not to let the Roam go right down to 0% all the time, as it does take longer to charge up from dead than from 10%, for example. And another top tip is not to watch the battery. It tends to drain faster when you're obsessing over it. Now, while we're talking about battery life, I know there are comments out there saying that the Roam's battery drains quicker than expected. Now, all I can offer is our experiences and testing and suggestions on what to do. So for us, we tested the Roam playing music at 50% volume and it lasted for about 12 hours and 39 minutes, which is considerably longer than the 10 hours that Sonos state in the spec. Now we've also done other tests, including leaving the Roam in standby mode where it lost 3% in eight hours and we also turned it completely off overnight, and it actually remained at 100% when we turned it back on the following morning. Now, bear in mind that the battery does tend to decrease a bit quicker when it reaches those lower battery percentages. Of course, there are lots of other factors which can make a difference, anything from using voice assistance to the temperature of the room, would you believe, can actually impact the battery. So everyone will experience slightly different results in their own usage, and that's a really important point to make. Now, it is rare, but of course, there is a chance that there could be a fault with your device if you are experiencing uh, dr uh, drastically different results from when using the Roam yourself. So if you do think your Roam is performing far below the expected battery levels, then we would recommend running a diagnostic with Sonos just in case who can remotely look into your system and then check if everything is working as it should be. Ultimately, this number one complaint is part of what makes the Sonos Roam both a portable speaker and compatible with your Sonos home system. Everyone will want to use their Roam for different purposes. For example, uh, some will use it primarily as a portable speaker and others will use it regularly grouped with other Sonos speakers at home. So it's good that you've got the option to hard power off the device. Of course, the Roam might not be suitable for everyone. You do have the option to go for one of Sonos's home speakers if you're looking for perhaps a hardwired speaker or you could just opt for a regular portable speaker which can't connect to your Sonos speakers at home but is great for taking on the go. And we do have plenty of reviews on various portable options which you can check out. So I hope this video has helped clear things up for you and given you a few options to make your Sonos Roam work for you and your usage. As I mentioned, if you've got serious concerns about your model, then do make use of that Sonos Diagnostics which is really handy. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.